Nobody forces you to read Reddit. Lord B4, please. What else am I gonna do? What other content can I possibly do? Am I, am I supposed to do another champion guide? Another how to do this dungeon or a Hydra run? That's modern thinking, bro. Fun fact, nobody is forcing you to do the fusion. This is from four years ago, talking about a different fusion. I haven't read this yet, but let's see how much this holds up four years later, right? Because, well, you know, fusions back then, fusions now, you know what I mean? Let's draw those comparisons. Let's, let's talk about it. There's a lot of negativity on this sub around the current fusion, and I get it. The main champ isn't anything to write home about, and the fact that it's 21 new champs makes it a lot more difficult to complete, almost impossible, but, and when he says 21 new champs, there was a time before where people could just save epics and save rares, or just save champions in general, and as soon as a new fusion would pop, we would just fuse those champions and immediately complete the fusion without having to do anything. But Polarium worked around this by introducing new champions so that nobody could go into a fusion stacked up and ready to just blow it out of the water. So that's where he's talking about there. But nobody is forcing you to complete any part of it. If you don't think it's worth your time or money, then just go about the game like there's no fusion going on. True, I've, you know, I've agreed with this, I've said this. You may get a few rares just playing normally and that's a bonus. Or you might actually just get an epic, and if the epic is actually solid, well, you know, that was an epic you weren't really expecting, it just kind of showed up. Yes, our vaults are full of dupes or useless champs, but just save them. Maybe the next fusion will require them. Maybe it won't. But a vault full of champions you never use is exactly that. You never use them for a reason, just like gear. Because they're useless. Burn them or keep them, it's up to you. If anything, I'm happy the new champ is useless and not another Tormund or Rodos. I'm free to play and can't complete this fusion, at least this way I don't fall further behind the whales. Now downvote me and be on your way please, okay? A fusion should never be a guaranteed Lego for everybody, for anyone, but it should take a little bit of effort to complete, so it feels like an achievement. 16 new rares for this one is taking the piss, I agree, so I'm gonna skip this one and wait for the next. I agree with you, but in that case, they should make it more like a month to complete this kind of fusion, not really an arbiter level, but kind of where you're trying to gather all the champions in the game, not just bam, 16 champs, get it or lose it. Another bad side of this fusion is that all the rares are straightforward total, uh, total garbage. Any old rare is better than the crap ones, but they got some deep, uh, decent epics. It doesn't look like <laughs> the case has gotten any better. Uh, what do you guys think so far? Are, are fusions better now than they were before? Most people will pull the epics out of the ancient shards in the next two weeks. No point grinding for potions and levels when you're most likely going to get them that way. You basically said, nobody forces you to play this game. Nice fun fact, but a good point. Yeah? Yeah? Nobody's forcing you to play raid, bro. That's a very weak argument for a bad fusion. Should be easy to counter-argument me then. Go ahead. Content is why people play. New content is needed as a reprieve from the, mono from the monotony. I almost said monotony. <laughs> Monotony of the uh, daily grind. Fusions are part of the game's content. Shitty fusions, shitty content, shitty content, unhappy and bored players. The way I see it, did he, did he respond? No, he didn't. What? The thing is, we don't want no hierarchy system in this game. We don't want no. We don't want any hierarchy system in this game. Things that can be easily obtained by whales should also be attainable for normal players by paying with their time and by putting more effort. The game is literally telling you that you can't do this. This is a fusion designed, or I guess fusions in general are designed for whales or big spenders. What do you guys think about that? Is that true? Are all fusions or most fusions designed only for whales or big spenders? I don't know. I think that for the most part, they are attainable for free to players. If people are very conservative with their resources throughout the year. But if you're a brand new player and you just came to raid and you want to do a fusion straight out the gate, I don't think, I don't think you're going to be able to. That's just me. Nobody forces you to read Reddit. Lord B4, please. What else am I going to do? What other content can I possibly do? <laughs> Am I, am I supposed to do another champion guide? Another how to do this dungeon or a hydra run? Anyway, you see how you're doing the same thing and then you're complaining about it, right? Yeah? Yeah, I, I mean, I get what, he, what he's talking about. You can't complain about something and then do it still. But then the other argument is you gotta complain about something otherwise nothing changes, right? So th there's both sides of it. I think it just, it contextually matters where you're coming from. What is up with people in English here? L read this. So your argument is that why are you upset shitty content that few people can do got added this isn't my job this isn't a game that is supposed to be fun if you don't add fun stuff for the players to do then why am i playing 
This isn't a one-off issue. This is a misstep after misstep. Looks like it hasn't changed because four years later, here we are, misstep after misstep. People complain in hopes that the company will listen and fix their mistakes. If not this time, then next time. And frankly, show frustration that Polarium can't get out of their own way. Honestly, that hasn't even changed. That hasn't even changed. We're still here today. We're still here today. Also, people invest a lot of money into this game, and when people pay money for something they expect a reasonable return, expectations increase. Yes. But, gambling, casinos, machines, uh, gambling psychology, Polarium, you know what I mean? You know, somebody posted a comment saying like, oh, if somebody is spending in Raid, it's not just the game for them anymore. That's what they said. That if they're spending in Raid, that people who spend in Raid, it's not just the game for them anymore. I'm going to leave you with that, and you tell me what you think. But let's look at this. So, six days ago, talking about this upcoming fusion for Gretel and Hansel, he says, I'm mostly a free-to-play player. He buys the... <laughs> you can't say you're free-to-play and also say you're buying the daily gems and the occasional forge pass. That's not free-to-play. That's low spender. I'm currently two king. <laughs> I j every time, every time. I'm currently two king NM clan boss, unable to hit UNM just yet. I was hoping this fusion would be a boss specialist. It's not. If I do this fusion, I will not be able to do the next one. Since I'm not going to have the shards, I'm thinking about skipping and saving my resources for a champ that's going to unlock UNM. Question is do you think this fusion will be on Armand's level? Out of the gate? Fuck no. Where would I would uh, where I would regret not going for it later, or should I be fine skipping? Thanks for the input. In case you didn't know, Hell Hades released a video on the new champ like two our new champions like an hour ago. It's really hard to know with nukers before we know their multipliers exactly. That being said, this fusion feels like they really need their partner to excel, which they do, and it's going to be hard to pick that up. And in case you're watching this and you haven't seen the other videos, the the the, the base the basic idea is that yeah, even with both of them together they're not really nuking that hard they're not doing a lot of damage their main selling point isn't that they're trying to be nukers but that they do the irresistible cooldowns and counter attacks and the extra hits with the aoe's right and then they, there's some other mechanics with like the decreased defense and weaken if you put them two together but um personally i'm not going for them Modern Thinker, I'm free to play, been playing since May 2020, took me a long time to get comfortable with the game. I completed my first uh, fusion in December 2020, only ever missed the March 2021 fusion since. I have 45 legendary champions at that time because I do the fusions, that's approximately 25% of my legendary champions. Late game content like Curse City, and to an extent, Siege puts severe restrictions on what factions, affinities, and rarities of your champs that you can even bring in. The more champions you have, the more options you're going to have. Yeah, that's that's modern thinking, bro. My approach to the game has been if the game gives me an opportunity to earn a legend, a legend champion, legendary champion just by actively playing the game, I'd be foolish to let the champ slide by because I didn't put the effort in to get them. You gotta make your own decisions and play the game your own way, but this has been my approach. And for the most part, I agree. Um, I know a lot of people with this mindset that it's foolish to let a champion slide by because he didn't put the effort in to get them. My only counter argument is, and I, you know, I, I'm willing to think that he didn't mean to make an absolutist statement to, to make a blanket statement. But my only thing is just like, if you don't feel like playing Raid and you don't feel like doing a fusion, you're fine. Don't, don't let anybody call you a fool for skipping a quote unquote free fusion, right? If you want your time back, if you want to just chill, fucking do it, bro. Anyway, the problem is the shards. Since you're free to play, just buy shards. Oh, since you're not free to play, just buy some shards. Yeah, he's not wrong. I just buy the gem pack because of the great value. Buying shards is expensive. Uh, let's see, been included by fusions. I'd say you won't regret skipping it. They only seem good as a duo. Either champ isn't appealing as a single unit, and in my arena, oh, in my opinion, arena is the best use for their skill. If you don't have a UNM team, you should absolutely focus on that first. It's it's not just one thing. You're not only focusing on one thing. You're doing the Gretel fusion. And then they throw in Hansel, they, they give you another carrot to try to entice you to do even more than you were originally planning to do. I'm not going to get into the, the tactics that Polarium uses to get people to invest and spend more, but just know that that is the case here, right? One fusion, they're probably going to throw in um, like a guaranteed event or a champion training event for the other champion. And next thing you know, you find yourself going deeper in than you were uh, even planning to go before 
The fusion is good, but far from Armand's, not even good as Thor, who again is not Armand's, since you can only hit um, NM. You're always going to be short on shards. Go for the best of the best, who are only done uh, once or twice a year. Yeah. Even Jeroboam Bomb is better than this fusion. Freya is better than Jeroboam. Gretel has a badass look, unlike Jeroboam. Siffy's better than Freya. <laughs> I heard the crisp. I heard they. I heard the Christmas fusion is always good. Not always. Sometimes it's torment. Sometimes it's Pixneal. Hey, Pixneal though. Pixneal, one of the worst Legos ever. Do you think I'm the best? I think about you a lot. I be so inside my head.